Can we can we can we get her? They say fang pussy. Let's see what happens. <gasps> oh my god! Oh my god! Wait, what happened? The stream is behind. All I see is lag. <laughs> oh, that's so stupid. Oh my god, dude. Yo, you have an R2 Tevil. Please keep with him. As you can tell from the pre preview, here we are. Thanks, Kovian, for the video idea. So today I want to showcase you guys uh, R2 Tevil. Let's just go quickly over his stuff. So for Teva, for people who use him or not, like his ascension are HP percentage, attack and crit damage. I feel like they should change the AP percentage to crit rate or speed because the HP doesn't do much for him. Um, then with his third skill, the Neko gift box attacks one enemy, damage 200%, inflicts Neko curse, final damage up plus 10%, has a six turn cooldown, damage increases and a cooldown reduction. When you max skill him and the Neko Curse is when the carrier takes damage from Tevo, the effect is removed, dealing damage equal to 100% of Tevo's attack to all of the carrier's allies. And this first skill inflicts here for two turns, damage 100%. So Tevo overall doesn't need skill ups. And with his resonance in CSR2, right, um, his Neko Gift Box change. Triggering Neko Curse has been changed to when an enemy with Neko Gift Box is attacked by Tavor. So what does that exactly mean? So here we are uh, with a setup for the VR Battlegrounds just to explain how Tavor works. Uh, I discovered two things about him. So um, let's start with the first thing. Um, when we use Tavor's skill free, right? So it's a little bit different from Embla because the Embla has to apply the debuff first and then trigger it to make the explosion, right? Te Tevo doesn't need to do that. So with Tevo, um, we do his S3, then he applies the box and then it also just explodes immediately. So that's uh, what we're used to, right? So he killed everyone because he attacked it, applied the box, the box exploded and killed the others. What I also noticed is so when the box is applied, so the best case, um, actually let's, let's uh, 100 is too high, um, with 70, it's actually the most value you get from Tavos um, Resonance 2 is when you do not kill a target immediately. What I show you what that means. So we target this guy here at the at the back, right? So we use his S3, which applies the Neko box, and now he attacks again, boom, and he procs his Neko, uh, his Neko curse twice, because he procs it once because we attacked with his third skill, so he did the AOE damage, and also because the target died, which is usually the case with the Neko curse. Um, you get the explosion, so you get two explosions if you do not kill the target immediately. So that's uh, the most value you get out of Tavos S3. Let's check him out in PvP. So here we are in Point War checking out Tavor to make it as realistically as possible. I gave Tavor. Uh, the relics of my JJ. Astralis is the best set for Teva because once the target is below 50% HP and he attacks with skill 1, he gets a Neko Curse stack and that's also with the Astralis sets resets his skill 3 so he can use his Neko Gift Box again. Those are his stats and let's check out how he performs in PvP. I did not test it yet so let's see if he could potentially replace JJ as a damage dealer for PvP. So we do the standard thing, attack buff, um, Zora does her defense break, boom boom. Then we use Gaius, kill what we can kill. And now 
for what do we want to target here? I feel like we want to target the Ahmed. So let's hit the Ahmed. Okay. He did like what? 12k damage to everyone else. Let's see, Tavo. Oh no, crit, perfect. <laughs> uh, okay, uh, yeah. Let's try it again, let's try it again. Um, and see if we can tackle a different target, right? Okay, we do the same thing again. Now we attack the Ahmed again. Oh, actually, wait, we have to use guys first, right? Okay. I feel like we should hit the Ahmed because he will not die immediately. So we get a double proc this time. Or not because he survived and revenge proc'd. But we can attack again because we got an Astralis proc. But also, as you guys were able to see, right? Um, his Neko, Kif uh, Neko Gift Box or Neko Curse, when it's triggered, uh, it still procs Everett's debuff, uh, not debuff, but his passive to revenge proc. Keep that in mind. Yeah. That's for that. Let's see how it performs if we target a tank team. Uh, not a tank team, a speed, speed team, right? So we replace the Zora. But probably... Wouldn't they die anyways? Okay, we have to buy tickets. Let's see. Well, the Dahlia survived. Let's target this guy again, but instead of Tevor, we use JJ. Okay, here we go. Yeah, Lilith, 
Buff Tevor.